Okay, that was pretty good graphics. Welcome, my friends, to a brand new Let's Play. Pokemon Stadium 2. Rental Challenge. Starting our new playlist on this channel. If you haven't if you haven't seen me play in the previous Let's Play, I did a rental challenge on Pokemon Stadium 1 and managed to prove the fact that I was able to succeed all with only rentals. From round one and round two. So let's get started with this challenge. Pokemon Stadium 2 Rental only. I know all of you have been looking forward to this one too, as myself. But unlike the Pokemon Stadium 1, we get Johto Gym Leaders to start off with. So let's start with Fall. His name is Faulkner. And unlike the previous time, we get two battles to deal with. So let's get on the rules of the challenge. We are not going to use any legendaries. And to make this more interesting, we're not going to use items to make this more of an interesting challenge. But of course, as you've probably been familiar with, rentals are tend to be awful. For example, Charm Mil Charmander and his, his family has a good set of moves like Flamethrower, Sunny Day, Slash, and Fl Dragon Breath, which is pretty good. And then as we go to Charmeleon, fairly decent stats and fairly good move sets. But once we get to Charizard, it's not as great. But I think you can see the point taken. There are no EV training and poor movesets. This makes the challenge way more harder, since your opponents are going to be much more stronger compared to what you this game, obviously by default. Since our opponents going to be flying types, we're going to need some electric. So I thought about maybe I'll start with Electrode or Starmie. Now Starmie here has Waterfall, which is. 80 and actually 100. Zap Can's not great, but it has a guarantee to get a paralyzed if successful hit. No items, too, so we'll start with Starmie and our team. Now, we can't just use all electrics because there could be an ambush, so we need to balance it out. And it's kind of cool, we get those Johto Pokemon, including Darks and Steel types. And here are the Johto Legends, like Entei and the others, which is really cool. Let's see, and then the Unknown's considered a legendary. And there's my, there's a cool Pokemon, Embryon and Espeon. Two ev Eevee evolutions. Ampharos has Zap Cannon. Lantern has Hydro Pump and Spark. Spark is a... 65. Now, I don't, I'm not really familiar with Pokemon Stadium 2, all the moves, so it's gonna be taking me a while to get used to. So we'll only get the start with selecting team then. Uh, where's the Pokemon I'm trying to look for? There's one that's electric water. Here, wait, where is he? I see Lantern. Excuse me, I just need some time to get used to this for a minute. Where's that one I'm trying to look for? That's kind of cool, you can have a feature to change it around in case you need to look for something. at some point. Yeah, next time, I'm not gonna actually film while it's choosing, because there's so many Pokemon. Just for next time. There's a Elegit. That's pretty cool. Let's see, Doug Trio has Slash, Attract, the female. So, Magnitude has a it varies from time to time, but I could try that. Let's see, 
Ditto. We got, well, that's really cool, we got so many different options here. Where's that darn electric water Pokemon? How come I don't see him? I see land. Oh, there he is. It's uh, Chen Chu. Surf, good. Confused race, solid. How fast is he? Fairly decent. So I'll put him in a team. Let's see, has curse. What does curse do? Raise attack and defense at the expense of speed. It works differently for ghost types. Let's see, Kadabra, Thunder Punch, Psychic. That's a good way to start with. So I'll do I'll do Kadabra without items. Steelix, Iron Tail, Rock Slide. What does Embrown have? Let me pull the point on the team. I'll put the... Oh yeah, I put in U, so I just gotta look for U. Attack, sand attack, quick attack, mean look, prevents the target from escaping. I'll try it. Cedra has drag. Oh, dragon breath. That's actually not a bad move. Has a one third chance of paralyzing the target. I'll keep that in mind. That could be helpful. You know what? I think I'll put King. I think I'll put uh, Cedra on the team. Dragon Breath is really good because in this game, Dragon types are considered the strongest now. So we got a lot of water. So we need to back us up with the grass and brown types. So I'll put in Dugtria then. Okay, I'm not assuming it's gonna be a first try, but let's get started. I apologize it took me a bit of a while, but. At least now I'll know next time. We'll just skip over. Okay, so our team set up. We don't have any legendaries, and there's no items. But these, but but Matt has items in his team. So far, it looks pretty simple to start with. I'm gonna start with Chin Chu. Have Kadabra with Kinesis. And then Starmie is the strongest. Let's get started. We bring you this battle live from the Gym Leader Castle. Will the challenger be able to overcome the waiting trainers and conquer the castle? Well, let's get started, announcer. And of course, we have the announcer, just like the, from the previous time. Okay, start with Rain Dance. Summons rain for five turns while it's raining. Commands are made. Uh oh, it started raining heavily. Oh, Leah! There, he went that way down. Now, although that rain doesn't sharpen water types, there's one thing that has a benefit too with it. Here it comes, thunder! You have 100% accuracy with thunder now. 
It collapsed with only one hit. The next Pokemon needs to be prepared. Oh, it's Dodilla! Will this Pokemon avenge the honor of its fallen comrade? Okay, we got Leer. It's a fierce battle. Beating Peck. Not effective, but... How's that? Oh, that was weak. But no big deal. I think the rain lasts for five turns if Mary starts well. The number of remaining Pokemon is three to one. Bye bye. Super the last Pokemon goes down. And there goes the battle. There we go. Only rentals? No items. Okay, our first gym leader of the challenge, amigos. Here's where the real challenge come in. Let's see. Balkner has Pidgeot, Farfetch, Moktow, Dilly Bird, Firo, and Toga Tech. So now we're gonna have to put our best effort here. Let's see. Seedra is pretty fast, no doubt. We just gotta watch out for the electric, so as we do it. Who's the fastest of our team? Well, Kadabra is pretty fast with Thunder Punch with a guaranteed strike. They're all pretty much normal elements. So I'll start with Jinju, Starmie, and Yusidra to give us some more water strength. The first gym leader is Faulkner, the flying type Pokemon user from Violet Gym. What strategy will the challenger employ against him? Okay, no items against Fault. Her. Start with a Pidgeot. Mud slot. What's the opening game? Ah, of course. It's a ground on. element. Accuracy is down. So it can still miss, even with the guarantee thunder. Starting now. The trainer switching Pokemon. Oh, it's Starmie! My trust worthy of companion. What's this? That did little damage. But still lose accuracy. The stat changer succeeded. How will this Pokemon? He's still faster than me with a quick attack. How's that? A light attack. Not too bad. Waterfall attack. No. Ah, 
darn it! It's Good old RNG, as we all been from iOS. It was just one mud slap and we missed it. What now? Yeah, Waterfall did a lot of damage in rain. Dance. What Pokemon will appear next? Oh, it's Togetic! Okay, will the rain dance still go further? The rain ah, darn it, up. it ran out. Now, Zapcan has a 50% chance, which is not very great, unfortunately. I'll just do Waterfall. Okay. What's that? The hit right off. It doesn't deal a lot, unfortunately. Double edge, darn it. What do I do? I'll save Sarmi for last for the rain dance. Zap can. This Pokemon is switching up. Oh, it's Zebra! Whoa! It blew up hot! What impact will this Pokemon do? And of course, our never Swift still works. And Mary Sword as well. What's this? I, I thought it works. Fast and Pokemon stay at one. I guess I was wrong. Okay, smoke screen, dragon. Serves the best choice. It deals more damage compared to Dragon Breath. There's the attack. Emotions of a gym leader, which I love too. There's only one Pokemon left to come up. Oh, it's not Tom. This is the last Pokemon. It's a fierce Okay, I'll try Dragon Breath to try to paralyze it if I go first, and I do. What not? Unfortunately, I couldn't succeed. Try again. It has a one third chance, it says. What will it do? The hit plan nope. is right off. There, confusion. That's it. Down it goes. The next Pokemon needs to be prepared. Alright, that'll lead me to use Rain Dance, depending on what move it has. This Pokemon is rejoining the battle. The white hot battle continues. Oh, look! There is a sudden downfall. Take down. What's this? Hit that Ow, man, that was a pretty close goal. As long as it doesn't have a quick attack, we might be okay. Does it have a quick attack? No, it doesn't. And that should knock it down. Ah, oh, man, but barely enough to endure it. Good thing it was a critical at the wrong right time before Charmy was down. Each team has only one Pokemon left for battle. This Pokemon is back for another go. This is the last Pokemon. It's a tense situation. 
And I go further with Zap Cannon. What? How did I miss? It was in the rain, too. What the heck? Okay. Okay, that was too close for comfort there. There are no more remaining Pokemon. That's it. Made clear. That's the first gym leader of this series. That was, at least, that was kind of exciting to kind of start off with getting a close fight. Next time, when we do the Bug Z, our next gym leader, I'll gonna just do ahead time selecting. That way we can save some time. But for now, I think that's a wrap. Hope you enjoy this challenge in the future. Smart Vita, and have a great rest of your day. That's the way go.